Okay, so I couldn't find what I was looking for, but um, actually I might have a picture of it, but so like I was saying, like people who have never lost a kid don't know just the, the things that you go through um, emotionally and just how you don't get to buy anything. So we decided we wanted to go all out for her headstone. Um, Oh, I can't a little munchkin. Um, we had kind of gone back and forth um, between doing a flat headstone or one that was above because um, where we had purchased her um, gravesite at, we could do either. And um, I don't regret it in any way. Um, the money we spent on that is money we would have spent over the course of her whole life. Um, and we unfortunately had to do it with a casket and a headstone um and so um we ended up having her funeral a week a week after she was born um and i didn't want to wait so um my ex's grandma was out of town and we ended up getting a text message like oh grandma won't be back in town until this date or whatever and i couldn't wait um I wanted to be able to not move on with my life, but I wanted to move forward. I didn't want to have to drag on this date to make everybody happy. Like, you know, when you lose a kid, it's not about anybody else except for the mother and father that lost that kid. And I don't care what anybody says. You know, it affects everyone in the family, but it affects the mother the worst because the mom's the one who has to go through carrying that child like if you had a stillborn like i did you have to carry that baby find out that your baby died and then guess what you have to give birth not just to a baby to a dead baby see your baby and then say your goodbyes we had a little under two hours with our daughter because since she was born so early her skin couldn't hold the fluids in so we got just a little under two hours in with her. That was it. That was all the time I got with her. Um, I do have pictures of it. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the pictures just because they are um, on the graphic side. And I don't want this video to be super graphic. Um, just not knowing who's going to watch the videos. Um, but if you're friends with me on Facebook, I'm sure you've seen the pictures. Um, I also have a group um, on Facebook called... Savannah Grace um, that you can go um, ask to join and I will add you into the group. Um, it has like all of her pictures and some updates that I do on there. Um, I haven't been very active on it lately um, just because as you can see I've been busy with this little um, this little monk skin and stuff but um, that is just a little bit about my story um, with the loss of my daughter and you know Every day I think about her. There's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't think about her. Um, whether it's just like me doing something and being like, oh my gosh, I wonder what she'd be saying today. Like, what would she be wanting to do? Um, how she would react to having a sister. Um, there's just a lot that goes into it. Um, it's hard being an angel mom. Um, it's not something I wish anybody had to go through. Um, it's one of those journeys where you just wish it would end. The grief, the sorrow, the heartache, and it doesn't. You know, people have told me that I should go through counseling. And what people don't understand is unless somebody that you talk to has lost a kid, they don't understand mentally, physically, um, just everything that you go through. Um, I would say I'm doing really good. Um, but I have my moments and we all do where some days I'm just like, like, why me? Like there's parents out there who are on drugs and do bad things to their kids and their kids die. Why did my kid have to go? Like I would have given her an amazing life. Like, you know, um, and that's a question that a lot, a lot of us angel moms ask is why me? Like, why did my baby have to be taken but not the 
person's kid who's being abused and stuff you know there's a lot of the what ifs we all think what if we did this what if we did that what if i did this differently what if i didn't work there's so much that um that we think about that could we have changed the end result and honestly there's nothing we could have done um you know every every person's put on this earth i feel like for a reason and a purpose and you know my daughter she's taught me a lot about grace and extending grace to people um which right before we had her we were gonna i don't know if it was gonna be i think it was gonna be savannah hope because since we had a miscarriage i was like oh i have hope i can have another baby um and about a week before, a week or two before I found out I lost her, I was sitting at my grandma's house and I was like, I like the girl named Grace. I was like, I think I'm going to do Savannah Grace. And I talked to my ex about it and we both were on board. We were both like, okay, let's do Savannah Grace. The midwife, no, not midwife, the nurse um, who delivered her because she went to go check me and like she just came like flying out because she was so little, her first name was Grace. So, I feel like it's taught me to extend grace to those, even when I feel like they don't deserve it. Um, it's given me a new outlook um, on life um, and stuff. Oh, you want to be in the video? <laughs> um, it's given me a new, a new outlook on how to react to certain situations. Um, and so, yeah, um, if you're watching this and you have had a loss or if you know somebody who's had a loss, um, please definitely tell them um, that they, you know, they're not alone. Um, there's tons of groups on Facebook. There's um, meetup groups. There's a lot that you can do um, for, um, for when you lose a baby. Um, give me that. Um it's a journey you don't have to walk alone like you're not alone find that support system i found several groups on facebook i have several people on my facebook who have either um all the way from a miscarriage all the way up to having a kid that's died um, being older to older kids that have passed away um and you just need to find that support system for you um, do not feel ashamed to share your precious baby. Um, I don't care how your baby passed, um, whatever pictures you have, don't be ashamed to share those. You're keeping your baby's memory alive. And that's our job is to remember them and to let other people know that we haven't forgotten about them. A lot of people think after you've had a loss, they don't know what to say to you. Um, just because... They don't know how we're going to react to how somebody has to say something. And I think the worst thing people do is they try not to mention your kid because they're scared it's going to trigger you and make you upset. And it's the complete opposite. We want people to remember our kids. We want them to know that they remember. Like we lost a baby and we still have to live with that every day. We don't want people to, you know act like it never happened because we live it every day. It's not something that goes away. Um, I wouldn't say I'm pretty good with hiding my emotions from people, um, but when it comes to my daughter, um, it's one of those things where I'll tell people, but I'm not op very open about it. Um, just for the way that people react, people don't really know exactly what to say. And then they say something and it upsets, you know, me or other people. And I just, and I've heard that somebody's lost a kid. I'm 100% op open um, to my story. Um, and I'm getting more open. Um, it's just, it's the questions that people ask, how did she pass? Like, what happened? Like, A through Z, whatever. Um, I think the worst question that people can ask you is, what happened because that's not what you want people to ask people should be asking how are you doing are you okay not the 
you know, we all have that curious side to us. It's like, what happened? We want to know. But it ends up upsetting us because it's like, then it's like people, it seems like people just want the info and they're not even going to care about you. Um, which was in my case, I had quite a few people messaging me being like, oh, so how'd your daughter pass? But not even asking me how I was doing. And I was like, are you flipping kidding me? Like, I just lost a baby and I'm like on the verge of losing like, ev like just everything. I was just done like with everybody. And I was just like, I was like, are you kidding me? You only care about how she passed, but not how I'm doing, like, mentally, physically, anything. Um, and so that, I think, would be my biggest thing is if you know someone who has lost a baby um, or anything like that is genuinely care about them and not just how their kid passed um, or whatever. Um, it even goes with other, like, family members in your family, um, like, not being so like I don't want to say like I don't know what the word is um like wanting to I guess just like not wanting to just know how something happened but willing to actually be there for somebody um in their time of need um I lost quite a few friends um but I gained way more um I have a huge support system on Facebook and I like to keep it positive um and that's just how how I want it to be. I want to be wrapped around other people who are walking the journey I'm walking. It's not it's not easy. Like to say like oh it's a breeze in the park is a lie. Um, every day is different. Um, I do pretty good most days, um, but there are certain days um, like April twenty sixth, her birthday. That's a trigger for me. It makes me sad. Um, August 14th was supposed to be her due date. That day's hard. Um, just thinking of that was supposed to be her due date, but she came, what was it, four months early? Um, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to wrap your head around. Um, and I know I threw a lot of um, stuff out at you guys, but I just kind of want you guys to be open. Like, I just want to be open with you guys and, you know, let you guys know what it's like um for her funeral the funeral home ended up making these up for us Whoop. um and they were these little cards with the inside um with the um her funeral service was on april 30th of 2016 at three o'clock um and we just ended up having it super super small um but this is what the inside of those look like. Um, when we left the hospital, they ended up giving us this box um, with hats and stuff in it um, to um, to have. Um, it was like a remember or a memory box. Um, I'm trying to see. I don't know if I have any printouts of her headstone and the stuff which I don't think I don't think I do um, my mom and I kept the nail polish um, that we used um, to paint our toes um, I didn't want everybody to wear a black that was the other thing I wanted bright colors I ended up wearing um, I don't have any even printed out but I ended up wearing a black skirt with a hot pink shirt um and like a white shawl i wanted i wanted it to be covered up in um or not covered up i wanted to have bright colors i didn't want it to be like oh this is like since it's already sad i want it to be pretty um they also gave us these at the hospital that i got um pictures taken with um which is which is really cute and then for mother's day I could not handle Mother's Day um, in 2016 because it was supposed to be happy and it was a sad, like, super sad. I I just, I couldn't handle it. But my parents ended up buying um, me this, um, which I thought was super, super sweet. And so um, I got that from them. And then this was the hat. Well, these were the two hats that we got, but this was the hat that she wore. Um after she was born so like you can see like 
how tiny that is like next to my hand like it was super super tiny and this was huge on her um and so I got her hat um and then I got they measured her as well um and so I got that as well um like the measuring tape um and stuff so yeah so I just wanted to share you guys um or share with you guys my story um a little bit about just kind of what what I'm going through um and all of that um I was trying to see if I had I don't see any of just her head headstone but um when I get more um board pictures printed out and stuff I will um I'll definitely um do a video with maybe some more um some more pictures and stuff but um this is actually I'll show you guys this one this is a picture of where she's at in the cemetery so um where all this is is where she's at and so She's in a very, she's in a very beautiful, um, part of the cemetery, um, it's gorgeous, um, her headstone is a mama, um, or I shouldn't say mama, it's like an angel, um, wrapped, um, over like a heart shape, um, stone, cut out stone, um, and then on the back of it, we did a Winnie the Pooh, um, quote, um, cause we were going to do her nursery in Winnie the Pooh, and so we were able to kind of incorporate everything we wanted to, um, into it so yeah so uh, thank you guys so much for watching i gotta go put this little one either down for a nap she may either be going down for a nap or i may go try to go for a walk with her and see if she goes to sleep so um thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed um and if you are an angel mom um let me know below and i will follow you guys um if you're on Facebook um, and you're watching this let me know I'd love to become your friend um, I like being able to connect with other other moms and dads that have lost um, babies and just being able to be there for you guys so um, definitely let me know below in the comments and thank you so much for watching